Hey everyone and welcome back to another Let's Take a Look at video. And today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Overwhelm. Uh, this is a game centered around um, adventuring and uh, collecting things and fighting enemies. And uh, I'm not starting from the beginning here necessarily because I've played the, a bit of this game already. I actually tried to record this video already, but... Uh, my audio decided it was going to clip um, entirely, so it was frankly unbearable to listen to. And as a result, I decided to scrap it and just do this over again. And frankly, with the experience of playing this game now, I think I will be able to offer a better presentation on it. Um, Alright, okay. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> but, uh, let's see. What was I going to say? There was something else I was going to say. Um, yeah, but this is essentially an action-adventure game um, with some roguelite elements to it um, in the sense that you are completing a run and you have three lives to complete this run. Um, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Um, you have three lives uh, in order to try and do this. Um, which is collect five diamonds, um, I believe, anyway. That, or that allows you to face maybe the first boss or something. If that's the case, then this game is a hell of a lot more difficult than I originally thought. Because um, it's pretty difficult for me as is. Um, but that seems to be the... Uh, the general gist of it, anyway, I haven't gotten too far in it yet. I've managed to collect one red diamond before, but I haven't been able to transport it, if that makes any sense, and I'll show you here what I mean. Okay, yeah, see, if you fall off, um, you die. Basically. Um, so we're gonna head back in here. And regardless of which path I take, it's going to lead me back to the same place. I prefer this path because I know it better. Um, but I can show off the other path uh, real quick here. God damn it. I, need, I, I, I have not gotten any better at the combat in this game whatsoever. I would like to have, you know, also I meant to jump, but, you know, for whatever reason, my fingers and my brain had a disconnect and I decided to not press spacebar um, so you know I'd be able to offer a better presentation on this game if I was good at it but I am obviously not good at it um, however I can offer my thoughts on it um, and my current thoughts on it are that it is fun it's simple um, and uh, I actually enjoy these graphics quite a bit, um, though they're they're the kind of pixelated graphics where things are well designed, but um, it's not uh, you know they're not uh, what's the word I'm looking for overly detailed. If you get what I'm saying, it's uh, God I need to really pay attention before I just go walking all over the place. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy this game so far, for the most part. One of my only qualms with it at the moment is that, um, is that it doesn't seem to have much of a replay loop, at least for me. Um, you know, of course, the prospect of beating it and collecting all five dom diamonds is... Enough to, you know, keep me coming back and uh, trying again and again. But um, other than that, I don't, I, I don't sense a whole lot of replay value here. And granted, that is my personal opinion. Um, it is not something that is um, so, that should be held to standard with this game whatsoever. Um, I would like to point that out. Um, I would also like to make note that I haven't been able to make it far enough in this game to necessarily have a solid opinion. Um, 
on whether or not it has replay value. You know, because I keep fucking dying before I even collect the first red diamond. In my defense, though, it's a lot more difficult than it looks. Um, so I obviously never blame myself. I blame the game for being too hard. Alright, we've got two lives going into this red diamond here. Unless I lose one beforehand. Which would not surprise me. And uh, the enemies I have found are randomly placed. Um, there will be some that are placed in a general area, but... Um, they will... Uh, they are randomly placed. Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to follow that or not. Because I have no idea where it went. <laughs> but... I figured that maybe riding it was not such a good idea. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot it. It's an enemy. It's the first boss. I did not realize this. That's what's going on. Holy shit. I wasn't aware of that. I was riding and thinking it was going to take me somewhere. Like some kind of fucking idiot. But in reality, it's the boss. Holy shit. Did I kill him? The music is still playing. No, I did not kill him. Oh, oh, ah, 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 oh, 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 no, 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 I was, I wanted to go back. I wanted to loop back around. God bless. Well, hey, you learn something new, I guess, every time you play. One is that, you know, there are actual bosses in the game, which I had done my research before playing this game for the first time, and I knew that there were five bosses where you, you had to be strategic about which bosses you picked to face first. The thing is, is that I didn't know when I was supposed to reach them, um, or what triggered them, you know, unearthing themselves and revealing themselves. And as it turns out, it is collecting the diamonds. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. We are getting out of there. We are not falling into that pit of fuckery. We're gonna keep progressing here. Now, I would like to reach an ideal point where I don't lose any health to any fucking scorpions, but, you know, I'd also like to, you know, be rich and have a lot of money. Alright, he's still down there. Come on, buddy. There you go. Wait for him to come to me. Um, but now that I've figured it out, this game has opened up some more replay value for me. And that's my thing, is that I go into these games and I don't know what I'm doing, so I assume there's no replay value, when in reality, I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, and there actually is quite a bit of replay value. Um, now, I do not believe that to be the case with running with rifles, uh, because I believe I figured that game out for the most part. He teleported to another spot. This, this is some garbage. All right, okay. Um, here, we'll go this way because I haven't shown this path off. Granted, it is not much different than the other path, but it's different enough for me to show it off. Um, or at least want to show it off, so. All right. And there are other enemies other than uh, scorpions. There are these little flying birds or bats like these guys who will come after you. Um, you can also... Obviously, wall jump. Oh, I'm underwater. I didn't even realize that. Oh, and they're jellyfish. 
go, 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 go. Holy shit. <laughs> I got surrounded on all fronts. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Uh, not get surrounded. <laughs> Listen, you joker. Think I don't know that? Think I don't know what I'm doing here? Obviously, the objective here is to jump into as many enemies as possible and see what happens. Alright, okay. There we go. Holy mother of God. No! They were everywhere! All right, I like my I like my path better. Turns out that the paths do not lead to the same places. It's just the path that I took on this particular path led me back to the same place. I'm going to go back the way that I know. I want to see if I can get this first crystal. I don't think I'm going to get this first crystal. I really do not think so. It takes, you know, an abnormal amount of, you know, um of uh, stupidity in order to achieve the lack of skills that I have. Um, which is why you guys should play this game for yourself and see um, how you fare and how you stack up against these enemies and how well you do. Um, because this game has more to offer than what I am currently showcasing. I wish I could play better in order to showcase more, but um, my own skills and uh, inability to jump over a goddamn scorpion are, are uh, <laughs> preventing me from doing that. Oh, I, oh, I, I, I hit him 100% of the way. I call him a lurky. Moving a little too quick here, especially since this is my last life. Alright, there's undoubtedly going to be a guy down there. No? Alright, that's uh, it's not a first, but it's unusual. Oh, you son of a bitch. Lowering my expectations, subverting my expectations. Uh, we're going to give this a couple more tries, um, but we're going to give this a couple more tries. I don't know how many more times um, <laughs> I, I can do that. Uh, I can make the same exact mistakes as before. Um, but in a general sense, I have shown off the, the core gameplay loop. I at least think. Um, and this is what it is, is that you're traversing these caverns, um, these dungeons, and you are looking to collect these crystals. And if you collect all five crystals from each boss, because there are five bosses, then I assume that that means you complete the run. Um, so in that sense, it is like a roguelite. Um, you are... Um, looking to accomplish something in order to complete your mission and then other things will be opened up as a result of you completing said mission okay we're gonna try a new approach here it's good it's called not dying let's see how well that works out for me i shot prematurely it's my fault all right, we're going to give this one last try. <sighs> I'm going to give this my best shot. <laughs> that was some insane skill right there. I have never displayed that amount of skill um, in this game. Even in the last recording session. 
or rather the last recording attempt of this game. Oh. I should have jumped. I didn't I wasn't anticipating that he would be there. Uh, all right. There's not one down there. Good. Um, one thing I would also like to note is that the controls in this game are very fluid. Um, they are very crisp and clean. And that is something that I can absolutely get behind. Um, you know, it, it feels like you have a lot more control over your character and what he is doing. Or what they're doing. Um, and it's it, it feels great to uh, to be able to move around like that. All right, he disappeared. He's coming. He's coming. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. All right, last chance. Let's try again. I need to, you know, realize that I can double jump. I can wall jump. I can do all of these great, fantastic things. All right, where are you coming from? Oh, uh, holy shit. Holy shit. He was moving faster. What the hell? All right. This game takes quite a bit of uh, getting used to and I think getting the hang of, but it's fun in the sense that, you know, there actually is legitimate replay value, something I did not recognize until I realized that that thing was a boss and not a uh, mode of transportation that would take me somewhere. I must be some special kind of stupid, but regardless, that opens up a whole lot more than I even realized when it comes to this game, and I think I'll give this game one more episode. I think I'll give this game another shot, um, give it my best shot, and see how well I can do, see if maybe I can even beat this first boss, um, because uh, I feel a motivation and a drive to come back to this and, you know, give it another go. Um, graphics are good. I enjoy them quite a bit. The soundtrack is nice. Um, it's got that suspenseful element that perfectly matches the game and the gameplay. Um, sound effects are nice, too. They, uh, they, um, they suit the suspenseful element of the soundtrack. Um, and overall, it's just, it's fun to play. I don't really have any major qualms with it. Other than that, it's difficult, which is good for a game. And not really a qualm, but rather a uh, an element that um, provides it with a lot more replay value. So, with that being said, this has been Overwhelm. We are going to give this one more episode, which will go up tomorrow um, at the same time that this episode went up. If you guys enjoyed this Let's Take a Look at video of Overwhelm, let me know down in the comment section below. Like it and share it with your friends. Let me know you want to see more of these kinds of videos here on the channel. The link down to the game is in the description box down below if you want to pick it up for yourself. It is $10 on Steam or your regional equivalent. There was a special promotion for it, but I believe that that is now over. So the base price is $10. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. I play all sorts of games on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very much. And I'll talk to you later.